trans, it's not the backroom situation, um, it's actually the dating situation. I asked a girl out last week, she said, I'm sorry, but I don't date minors. <laughs> <laughs> that is no good response that anyone could possibly give to that. <laughs> because on one hand, fucking good. <laughs> there is a bad response you can give to that, um, tried and tested. I'm actually quite mature for my age. <laughs> Because I started doing that thing where you think in advance, you're thinking six months ahead, and you're like, we're going to be eye to eye, we're going to have that inevitable conversation, eye to eye, so she's squatting. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I still think of you as a child, and I'm going to look at my Lego figure, and I'm going to get out Facebook and click, it's complicated. <laughs> um, you may not think I have the balls to say this. <laughs> the woke agenda's gone too far. I'm sorry, it has. I know it's gone too far for two reasons. Number one, the government has started taking our woke phrases and using it against us. They heard, it's okay not to be okay, and the NHS went... <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll just leave them. <laughs> Second of all, I came out to my uncle this summer, and he didn't say the normal thing like my mum did, which was, did I traumatise you? <laughs> he didn't say what my dad said, which was, oh, that's going to be expensive. <laughs> no. Do you know what he said? He said, when's the tail coming? <laughs> <laughs>